Welcome back, realvacantland.com. I got another property for you. This one I'm calling no zoning here land. Yeah, no zoning. So I get a lot of people asking zoning questions when it comes to vacant land because it's how, how can I use it? Can I build this? Can I build that? Can I have this animal? Can I do all these other things that, that I, you know some people would call crazy? I call completely normal. We're people, we wanna do what we wanna do, right? So we're trying to find the place where we can do what we wanna do it can be hard. So. I'm always trying to answer those questions about different properties and it makes it so much easier when there's no zoning so you call the county and they're like yeah we don't have that department yeah we don't have those rules yeah nope nope nobody here <laughs> so let's take a look at it this is in mississippi, mississippi county arkansas and uh, i'm asking 799 dollars for this property 799 bucks it's uh, 0.13 acres and so you could put a mobile home on here you could put a spaceship you know, you could put a radio tower, you could put a cell tower, you could build, build a bunker, you could uh, build a house, you could build whatever, right? You could just go for it. You could build a, you know, a garage to work on cars, change tires, uh, you know, business of some kind, if that's what you want to do. Here is a, a map of the property. I'm going to pull this up. I'm going to pull up some other maps too because I think it's important to show you some of the street maps back here because maybe, well, let's just try this map, see if it does it. Yeah, this map shows the named road too. So it's got this road going over here. It's uh, South County Road 259. It looks like it's kind of overgrown looking at the satellite pictures, but it's, uh, it's a county road. So you can drive across the train tracks over here off the highway and uh, let's, let's do a little street view of what that looks like. So here's a street view guy and where am I? Okay, here's the tracks. So here's here's your driveway. So you're gonna drive across the tracks. So it might be kind of hard to to drag it like a, a motor or a, a house trailer across the tracks because it's kind of up and over. But I'm sure you could figure out some different routes to get in there, or maybe you get creative and you block it up and then cross it and then block it back down. But uh, yeah, I didn't look at that so much before I started the video. <laughs> or if you got a motorcycle, <laughs> you go, don't go too fast. You can turn this sucker into a jump. That'd be pretty fun too. Um, yeah, maybe that's what you just want to do. So there's the there's the route to get over the tracks. And um, let's jump out of here. So once you cross the tracks over here, then the road goes around. Then there's nobody around. So you could drive through here. There's a, I think that's a power pole there. And so you just keep driving. There's tracks that go up that way and cut across the field. And then, um, no, sorry, don't cut across the field. Maybe the farmer's doing that. Go this way along the skirts of the field. That's where the actual road goes. And then there's a track that goes back here. And it, there used to be a house on this property. That's why the power pole's coming back here. See the power poles, power pole, power pole. So you get this uh, this dr long, nice, long driveway going back to the property. And then the property's on next to the farmer's field, so you can watch the farmer go work his stuff. You probably want to close the windows when he's, like, plowing the field so you don't get dust all over everything. But most of the time, it's just, like, looking out at the farmer's field and nobody to bother you. You got some trees around here, and it's just... Uh, Looks like a peaceful setting. So it's got the utilities and the hookup. I mean, it's probably got like an old septic system or something on it. I mean, they figured it out in the past. Who knows how they got water? There might be an old well there. Like if you look around, I wouldn't be surprised if there's an old water well. And because uh, it's got the it's got the driveway, it's got the power pole, and it's got like old, you know, if you kind of look at it, you kind of see the old foundation stuff. Let's jump into Google. Let's get rid of the, uh, the map over it. I'm going to pull it up in some more maps here soon. Uh, but let's, yeah, okay, so here we get rid of the uh, the overlay, and you can kind of see some little bits of debris here. You can see where the house used to be, like the old, the place where it used to be, and this used to be like the tree in the front yard, you know, shading the house, and uh, it's just all set up and ready to go for you to clean it up and make it yours. $799, so there's a couple houses over here, a couple houses along here, so other people are living in the area and enjoying it, but you don't have to be like up up close in their business and then just a little bit north of there um, is a little town it's called Joiner, and it looks like they've got a little grocery store oh it's even got some reviews 25 reviews this looks like a small town grocery store they sell Bud Light so it's not a dry county I guess they sell alcohol um, alcohol and cigarettes here's somebody that shops there here's some 
Yeah, that's it. You just got somebody that shops there of a picture. But that was a lot of reviews. So there's a church in the town, and then there's some streets and stuff. There's a post office. There's a post office just up the way. So you can do all kinds of business there if you got a post office. So here's some, let's do a street view from over here. So this would be the other side of the field. Um, so maybe you could get the house trailer to the property over here this way. Like if you talk to the farmer, say, hey, Mr. Farmer, uh, can I um, deliver uh, my home across your field? You could probably drag it across the field, you know, when it's not planted like this and get back to the property. You can see the power line back in there. So that would be. That would be the place to put it nice and secluded and see if you could figure out one of these other routes around the you know the edge of the field or through the field or just go ask the neighbor's permission to get back there so here's the town like you could walk through the field i'm guessing if you got nice neighbors and walk into the town or along the tracks this is uh this looks like an old age home or something um health resources of arkansas i don't know but uh, yeah, so a little town over here, and then out on the side of town is that property back on the other side of that field. So there's, there's the town out on the side of this little town with the road, public county road going to the property, and power lines going to the property is this property. So let's zoom out, let's see what part of the world we're in. Um, I think this is the Mississippi River right here, right? Yeah, yeah, so the Mississippi River, we're pretty close to Mississippi River. And uh, Tennessee is just across the border. There's a bunch more houses and people over here. It seems pretty vacant in this side for the most part. And um, if we zoom out some more, we got, is that Memphis? Yes, yeah, so we're just north of Memphis. Memphis is south of here, so that's a bigger town you could travel in and out of and get all kinds of supplies and stuff. Um, Jonesboro is up here. Bleethville's up here. And Memphis is down to the south. Blytheville, what, however you pronounce it. Okay, so I wanted to show you some other maps. So this other map I pulled up is um, just a bunch of colors, right? So we're close to the Mississippi River. So Mississippi River is over here somewhere. And um, yeah, I'm not. I'm going to lose my spot. So we're close to Mississippi River. People keep asking me on these properties, what's the floodplain like? So half this town here on the other side of the railroad tracks is in the, the 1%, you know, every 100-year floodplain. And then this property is in the 0.2%. That's like once every 500 years it'll flood here. That's the the calculation. That's the anticipation. So it, it'll probably flood someday, but it might be like five generations from now or a couple generations from now before, before it actually happens. Or it might be this year. I don't know. So the government is saying it's in the 500-year flood zone. And uh, they just put the whole everywhere around the Mississippi River in a 500-year flood zone, right? <laughs> so that's that's where you got it it's burlington northern santa fe is the is the railroad okay so there's your property i'm gonna go back to the website and this is uh, ruralvacantland.com and again we're asking 799 bucks for this property and then there's a buy it now button right over here this blue button is over there you can click that to buy the property um, got all kinds of descriptive stuff about the property. And then I got a disclaimer up here. I want to point out this disclaimer. And the disclaimer is saying that uh, it might take up to two months to get this thing, get the deed totally into your name. And uh, please don't start building on the property until I get the deed into your name. So just let me do the paperwork. Let me get it all pushed through. And uh, if something goes wrong along the way, um, I'm going to refund you, offer you other properties, uh, and try to make you happy. But basically, you're going to get a refund if uh if it doesn't settle in the meantime so i'll keep you updated as soon as i know that it's that it's uh ready for you to go start working on the property i'll let you know here's a post office just up the road it's a walmart it's like not too far away gas station you know the town's got got groceries got the little grocery store and uh, post office so thanks for listening thanks for watching this is luke smith at ruralvacantland.com Having fun showing you some more land. Talk to you later.